against this. I'm on it. Come discover the world around us. Yeah. We'll observe nature's wonders. <laughs> Using science and imagination. We'll experiment and build creation. your game. Sorry for leaving my stuff around. Let me help you tidy. Huh? Wait. Did you hear that? I did. Sounded kind of squeaky. It sounds like an animal. An animal in trouble. I think it's coming from the beach. Some sort of bird. And it's caught in something. We have to rescue it. Kia tere, fast. It's a little penguin. A baby one. He's sort of blue. I'm going to call him Bluey. Hey, Bluey. Wait, Newts. Little blue penguins are really shy. They also have sharp beaks, so he could pick you. But we have to help him. I know, but let's be careful. This plastic bag was stopping him from swimming. I think he's going to be okay now. Bye, Bluey. Ka kite. See you later. I can't see his parents. Maybe we should see if there's a nest nearby to make sure he has somewhere to go. Looks like someone has had a picnic. And they didn't clean up after themselves. This must be where the plastic bag came from. Very kind, Darwin. Yes, let's go. Huh? <sighs> Not here. <sighs> hmm. Not here either. If only we had found Bluey's nest. I know. But maybe Bluey has found his nest and his mum by now. Oh. <gasps> But I can hardly see him. Little blue penguins are nocturnal, which means they prefer the night time. He must have gone in here to get out of the sun. Oh, he is so cute. I think he's hungry. We should look after him tonight until we can find his mum tomorrow. Why don't I build a nest for him to sleep in? While you catch him some fish. Great idea, Newt. He was hungry. 
He sure was. He must be pretty tired too after today. Come on, Bluey, in your nest. Time for bed. Do you think Bluey will be okay out there all by himself? He'll be fine, Newts. But he really should sleep in his nest. Okay. You have to sleep in here, Bluey. <sighs> oh. <gasps> Little blue penguins are nocturnal. So this is like day for him. So what do we do? Bluey. For a small penguin, you sure can snore. <laughs> Let's find your mum, Bluey. Kilda. Oh, how sweet. Who is your little friend? This is Bluey. We found him stuck in a plastic bag. And now we're off to find his mum. Oh, you are small, aren't you? Little blue penguins are the smallest penguins in the world. Really, Henny? Well, we don't want him out here all on his own. I'll come and help you find his mum too. Let's go! Wait! The wind has blown more plastic bags onto the beach! And Bluey is heading straight for them! I'll go get him back until the beach is safe. Hmm. Plastic bags are dangerous for little penguins like Bluey. They certainly are. Wabbity! Kira! It's okay, Bluey. He's our friend. Hmm. Kira, little one. Plastic bags are a problem for many animals. Plastic bags blow into the sea, where seagulls get caught in them. And other sea life can eat them by mistake. We didn't know plastic bags could be so dangerous. I'm sure you will sort it out. Bye! Bye for now. What can we do? Science this. Yesterday, we found Bluey caught in a plastic bag. And then we found more plastic bags on the beach, which we picked up. But then today, we found even more plastic bags. We need to keep Bluey and other animals safe by cleaning up all the plastic bags. I'm on it. Ha! Aha! Presenting my latest invention, the Super Duper Plastic Bag Sucker Upper. Let's clean up this beach. Sure cleaned up. Me Hado! Awesome. awesome! Great invention, Newts! We can keep using it to keep our beach clean. Look! Titido! Bluey's found his mum! I'm gonna miss that little guy. Bye, Bluey! Bye! Now our place is tidy too! Less 
stuff to trip over and more room to play stack the blocks.